Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and what you're looking at is something that d Rook, who's a sp one of my sponsors, sent me, and this is a numerically controlled step-down voltage regulator. And what it does, it takes a DC in and steps it down. So, for instance, I've got it hooked right now to one of my radio power supplies that puts out 13.8 volts, and I can adjust the output voltage down from there. So if we look closely here, you can see down on the bottom it tells you the voltage input, and it says 13.75. That's what's coming from my power supply. And then I can set the output voltage and the output current. I can limit the output current. So here's the, um, whoops, what did I do with it? Oh my gosh, here it is. Here is the spec sheet that comes with it. Quite a few details about this thing. Input voltage range is 6 volts to 55 volts. The output voltage range is 0 to 50 volts. The output current is 0 to 5 amps. The output power is 0 to 250 watts. Now, if you go up that high, you probably have to do some heat sinking or a cooling fan or something because um, it's going to get quite hot. And what's really nice about this particular regulator, now I've, I've demoed other ones, but this one has this nice display that tells you exactly what's going on. It tells you the output voltage, the output current, the output power, real time. And you can set any of those things. So for instance, if I push the set button twice, it goes into the set mode. And I don't know if it's showing up too well on my camera, but you can set the output voltage. Right now I have it set to 8 volts. You can set the output current. You can set over, vote, over voltage protection, over current protection, and over power protection. You can also set the brightness on the display here. So once you do that, and what you do is you push this button down. Well, first, first you use the button, um, excuse me, you use these buttons here to select the item you want to change. So. For instance, if I wanted to change the current limiting, I go down arrow, goes to current, then I push this button once, and it selects the ones digit. If I push it more, it'll go over and select the different digits. So I could actually set it to like 1.54 if I wanted to. You use this knob to change it. Right now, I got it set to 1 amp, which is where I want it. And I got it set to 0 amps, which means it won't output anything. So I'm going to go back I go back to 1 amp, and then I hit the set button. I hit it again, and now it's set the output current to a maximum of 1 amp. So if I, I'm working with a circuit, and for some reason it starts drawing a lot of current that I don't expect, It'll limit it to one amp, or whatever I want it to limit to, down to um, a hundredth of an amp. So once you get things set up, and there's a lot of options here. I'm not going to go through all the options. You push the on-off button, and that actually allows the output to be output. So you got an on-off switch right here. So I push the on-off button. It says... I'm now putting out 7.9 amps. Remember, I had set it to 8 amp, excuse me, volts. I had set it to 8 volts, and I set it to a maximum of 1 amp. So it says my circuit right now, which is just a couple of power resistors, is drawing 7.84 amps, and that equals 6.25 watts. Now, you can't... You can't adjust anything while you've got it on. You have to pre-adjust it. 
So unlike some power, variable power supplies where you can just crank that knob up and down, you got to set it up before you turn it on and then it's ready to go. So I did some measurements. And this thing measures, let me see, where's my ruler? This thing measures about three inches by about one and a half. And it's got these little tabs on the side so that you can mount this without any screws. You just plug it in. Um, and if I turn it over for a second, you can see the back side. These are the input and output terminals. The, uh, these two on this side are the input, and these two on this side are the output. This is a heat sink so that you can draw quite a bit of power, but you don't want to you don't want to go to that maximum 5 volts without some kind of little fan or something. It also, in the instructions, says that if you're going to use this for a battery charger to prevent reverse um, backfeed into the regulator when you turn it off so that you don't discharge your battery that you just charged, and I've got it here. What did I do with it? Okay. They, oh, here it is. This is something that they send you in the package, which is this. Uh, this is a dual diode, and it's used to put in your circuit when you're using this to charge batteries to prevent the the current from the battery when you once you turn this off from the battery flowing back into or out of the battery. So that's another nice little feature that they send you this. So I, I did some testing, and I actually did a, a, a write-up on Amazon. And let me turn my power supply off so I don't touch anything and short something out. Um, here are some of the numbers that I recorded. And let me see if I can zoom out and you can see my cram crummy writing. Okay, and then we can move down. Ah, you don't need to really see it. But anyway, the numbers are down here. And, for instance, I set the output to 9 volts and 1 amp. And, again, I was using a 13.8-volt um, power supply, and I was using a 10.9-ohm resistor. Two, actually, two 5-volt, excuse me two 5 ohm resistors and the output measured 9.07 remember I set it to 9.1 so that I could see the roulette resolution and it the output was 0 0.877 amps about what you would expect so that worked fine I measured with an external meter the output voltage and the output voltage was reading 8.9 volts, where I had set it to 9.1. So you could do a little adjustment there to get it more accurate. Next test I did, I set it the output to 5 volts, 1 amp. The output display, because it displays the input voltage, the output voltage, the output current, and the output power. So it displays everything right there on that little panel. It read 4.99 volts. I had set it to 5. And at it was drawing, that particular load was drawing 0.491 amps. Pretty close. And I did one other test. Actually, I did two other tests. One was at 2.5 volts. Got it way down there. Again, 13.8 input. I set the max current to 1 amp. I read on the output, I read 2.49 volts at 0.23, excuse me, 0.243 amps, within, well within reason. The last test I did, I set the output voltage to 8 volts, and I set the current, the constant current, to 0.4 volts. Now, keep in mind... I've got a uh, almost a 11 amp, excuse me, 11 ohm resistor on there, so it's going to exceed that. And I'm trying to see if it's going to regulate that output. And sure enough, 
it regulated the output down to 4 volts. So it held that constant current of 0.4, which means it had to bring the voltage down. So that worked. I then set the output 8 volts. I set the constant current to 0.5 amps. Again, it, with the resistance I had, that I would be exceeding that um, constant current of 0.5. And I got only 5.8 volts. So it's regulating down based on that constant current that I had set. The last test I did, I set the constant current to 1 amp, and the output voltage was 7.98. So it was therefore, since my load was less than the 1 amp constant current at 8 volts, that it let the 8 volts out, and it came out as 7.98 volts. So... It's working quite well. Um, the one thing I was not able to do, and that's kind of why I was putting off testing this, uh, my oscilloscope doesn't work anymore. I wanted to see what the output waveform of this regulator looked like to see if I was getting any uh, ripple due to the switching regulator, which this is probably using a switching regulator. But... I don't have a working oscilloscope. Actually, I have one, but it's not very good, so I didn't even want to use it. So I decided I'd go ahead and do this review without that uh, oscilloscope measurement. So if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks to DRook. You can get these off of Amazon, and I'll put the link on Amazon for these if you're looking for a DC to DC down converter. Again, I'll turn my power supply on, which is outputting 13.8 uh, volts. And I can use this on off button, turn it on. I've set this to eight volts. See, I'm getting 7.9. And I set the current limiting to, or a constant current set to 7.8, so excuse me, to one amp. And it's that load I have is drawing 784, just like I told you about in my previous testing. So anyway, there it is. I love this display. And um, I need to find out some way to mount this more permanently. And it's nice and small. That's another thing. It's nice and small. So if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.